Hey y'all, Sarah Lou Hugh here, and we are back again with Nightcry. So, let's see, what happened last time? Um, last time we made our way downstairs, we met up with Eric and dead Kobe. Kobe's very much dead over there. Eric's over here being suspicious, Jerome is upstairs being suspicious, everybody's being so fucking suspicious. We also found Monica's necklace, so we know that she is potentially nearby. And now we're about to climb up through an air vent to try and repair an elevator to do something. Very well, in that case, head to the passenger floor on the other side of this air duct. And before you go, keep an eye out for a fork in the air duct passage. One of those paths will be marked with the number 13. That's the one you go down, okay? 13. Remember that. What about you? I've still got to bring the power back in line from this side. Don't worry, I'll be right behind you before you know it. I'm too young to die. Yeah. He's so fucking creepy. He's like itches, but not itches. He has the same, like, skin and... Really? I'm sorry, but really? <laughs> we need Rooney's ass in our face. Okay, where the fuck are we now? Is this the- Hello? Maria! Are you going to call now and tell us you're sorry, you bitch? Hello, Rooney? Yes, Maria. The monster- No! No! How? Oh, that fucker. No, Maria! <laughs> oh, Professor, hello? Hello, God, no. She was a bitch, but she was my bitch, damn it! Um, Kelly? Oh no, they're all dead, aren't they? Maria? God damn it! <laughs> We killed them all. Scissor Walker was right. We should not have trusted Eric. However, I don't know how any of our actions could have possibly led to them dying just now. Alright, let's go up here. Oh, 13. Wouldn't you know it. Wow, that was a lucky pick. Got a lot of ass in our face. What do we got here? This looks suspicious. Maria! Somebody! Oh, she is super dead. Are we just going to let her die? Oh, yep. Well then. Just stay dead. I mean, stay quiet, Rooney. Oh, oh shit. Oh crap! That is cruel. You okay, Rooney? Okay, yeah, keep it calm, girl. Jesus. Oh, we're going to crawl over her body. Like, seriously, though, did we need the booty in the face? Let him down! Freaking to your vent thing number two. <laughs> Where the hell? Okay, so we're like in the medical bay? Do cruise ships have medical bays? <laughs> oh, this is super weird. Alright, you gonna load for me? Load. There we go. Takes a little bit sometimes, like I don't know. What's this? Are you a phone charger? It is! It's a phone charger! We should really save. Alright, so let's get up. Golly, this stupid glitch. I mentioned this before, but like every other time that I try to use an object, it'll glitch out and say, Nope, can't use that. Even though I haven't clicked on anything. Um, yeah, let's recharge that. Get us all nice and saved up. Because we haven't had a save point in a while. You know, it's very... Lucky of us. Oh, is that supposed to be the actual in-game time? Like it said, 1025 on the thing, so that might be the... No, I don't want to look at the phone charger. I'm trying to see what's on the desk over there, Rooney. Yeah, this right here. Let's go check that out. Clinical records have been left on the desk. It's unclear who they become to. Oh, who they belong to. Whatever. 
Um, that's an abnormal number of drawings of internal organs and bone structures. Those look more like notes in preparation for an autopsy than a clinical record. Hmm. Does itches happen to work down here by any chance? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> Seems like his kind of thing. You know, cutting up stuff. Various medications. Okay, I can't tell what any of these medicines are for, even from the labels. Probably best not to mess with them. Probably for the best. What's going on? What's happening? Oh, my head. It's killing me. Rooney? What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, what? Hi, Monica! What the fuck? <laughs> Monica? Oh, she's... Is she killed? She had like a slash across her belly. Bitch girl! I was waiting. You finally made it here, Rooney. Now, we can play together. Oh! Whatever. No offense, child, but, uh... You fucking ugly piece of shit. <laughs> Say What the fuck? What? What just happened? Get down there. I want to see what the fuck just happened. God, Lee, this thing moves so slow. Where the fuck did I mess up? That wasn't an ending, right? No. I guess? What the fuck just happened? <laughs> Was I supposed to see something else? I don't need to look at the goddamn phone charger. Come on! Let you take another look at the clinical records. Alright. The doctor hasn't filled their name in, let alone the name of a patient. Is that it? Okay, so that's all for that. Maybe you can use. Nope, that I was thinking that that was like the phone or something. Um, let's see. That seemed like an ending, but it wasn't an ending. Uh, yes, various medications. Let's see what happens if we click on it again. What the fuck? Maybe we have to click on that. No. I have no idea what the fuck. Um, give me a moment. I am going to, uh, go and see about some things, and I, I, I don't know. Well, just give me a moment. <laughs> hey guys, so apparently that was some kind of ending. Like, I don't know what went wrong with it, but I don't know. I'm guessing it was a glitch or something that wasn't showing up with my save data, but... Or, you know, getting a Steve achievement for it. But yes, that was, in fact, some kind of ending. So, yeah, I, I had to Google it. You know, look up the particular scene. But yeah, it's apparently called Pre-Established Harmony. And I'm guessing that just means that us, the old lady, and Monica live as zombies for the bitch girl ghost. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to be, but... Yeah, Rudy gets a splitting headache out of nowhere and turns into a zombie. That is some kind of harmony, so... Um, apparently, we were supposed to give this to Jerome. Sup? Oh, before I forget, I've been holding on to this for you. Yeah, this envelope that was in his room. Should probably remember that, did not, did not remember this at all. Yeah, it was pushed under the door to your room. Yeah, we found it and... I picked it up and thinking to give it to you before you, like, then the monster attack and all that stuff. Of course. Do you know what's inside? No idea. We did not open it up. Because we are not snoops. They seem to be old family photos. Are these what I think? <coughs> the child here. That's me. This is a photo of me as a child. Um, then I guess that would make those around me my real family. I don't remember them clearly, so I can't say for sure. Okay, your real family. 
You mentioned you, were, you weren't raised by them. Yes, my current parents told me they adopted me when I was still young. You see, I'm this kind of, uh, sacrificial being for a cult. And then they were sworn to secrecy regarding my real parents. Yep, I am the prince of a cult. Does that do anything for you? Still, thank you. I don't know who delivered this, but I'm grateful to have unearthed my roots. Thank you. However, well, it's okay by you, Jerome, then it's okay by me. Wow, that was such a meaningful conversation. <laughs> you, yeah, and then this is, um, all the other dialogue that we went to. So I'm going to skip ahead until something interesting happens. So see you guys in a moment. Oh, okay. So I just had a realization because like whenever like I have to put, well, a few times I've had to like go back and replay some stuff. I'm always careful to, wait, what's that? We didn't see that before. Other than some faint scuff marks on the wall, there's no sign of anything unusual in here. Um, or the Monica's necklace. But, like, every time I go back, I try to, like, re-examine everything in case, you know, that plays a part later. Because, like, you know, some things I have to go and pick up again. Like, I don't know, for example, the phone from the first part. Like, uh, what's his name? Thompson's phone. And in which case, I was just re-examining this. This, um, Monica's necklace right there. And, like, okay, so she was saying, let me see if I can pull it up again. Necklace that Monica was, you know, wearing lies on the floor, la la la. Perhaps Monica's hiding in one of these containers, but which one? It has to be a way to narrow it down. I didn't think too much of that the first time, right? Because it's like, oh, she could be hiding somewhere nearby, but I thought it was just, you know, trying to say it. But what if she's, like, actually in one of the containers? And so... Oh my god, well, she was in this container that we were riding on. And so, we got John's phone number. Right? So, fingers crossed. Yes! Holy shit! Is it this one? I bet it's this one. This was the one that was locked up before. No? Gotta call him again. Okay. Let's see. Is it this one? No? Has to be one of these, right? Is it this one? Is it this one? I think it's this one. Monica? Okay, now what do we do? Okay, shut tight. There's gotta- uh, There's gotta be some way to open it. Either Monica's in there or her phone's in there. We do know Monica's alive though because of that ending that we got. So, how can we do this? Um, maybe from the other side? There's gotta be some way. We do have... Let's see. Over here, da 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 da. None of those. None of those. Those aren't important. Um. Yes, this. Wait. There's two things. Well, wait. What's this then? Oh, there was a phone charger here. I don't need the VIP card. Yeah, I know. I can't use it here. I just. I need the. I need the phone to charge to save us up here. I should recharge my phone just in case. Just as a precaution, you know? Okay, all good, all saved. Now let us get to our uh, remote control thingy. Yeah, it looks like a TV remote, apparently. So that's what we missed the first time. Ah, uh, yep, Crane. Let's see if we can do something about Monica's thing with this. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Oh, maybe we can use the forklift on it. Yes! Okay, here we go. Don't worry, Monica. We coming for you, girl. Whoa. Or not. Or not. Are you okay? You can handle this. Don't, like, spear her, though. Yeah, don't, don't accidentally murder her, Rudy. Did that work? 
you, you okay, girl? <laughs> you please tell me you didn't kill Monica in your weird as the town to open things. Ah, uh, it, it was this one, right? Yes! It is open! Doesn't look like the forks port- <gasps> Monica, Monica, Monica! Monica! Are you alive? Mm, Get up, girl! Sorry to disappoint you. Your necklace is- wait, what? That must be a glitch. Rooney, <laughs> how come you're here? No reason. Oh. Well, I'm glad you came by when you did. Thanks. No problem, Monica. We've been, you know, root free from get go, so good thing you're alive. But how the fuck did your necklace get back on you? <laughs> Come on, to uh, think I'd be the one getting rescued by the girl with the death wish. Are you okay? You seem to be in a pretty bad state. I hid in here thinking it would be safe, and then someone came in and locked the door behind me. So I've been stuck in here the whole time. It was itches! That doesn't sound like something that monster would do, so... But who would do it? I don't know, some creepy prankster, I guess? By the name of itches. Well, whatever, I'm going to survive through this no matter what. I'm living to talk about this even if I don't make it back in one piece. My little brothers, they depend on me. I'm raising them myself. Aww. You are a badass, Monica. And still, I haven't got my hands on Mr. Rich and Gorgeous, even though something or another. Because that's what's important, right? Of course. One moment, let me pause her dialogues. Actually, I want to read this, though. Um, of course, one way or another, I'll find my man and him, me and my brothers will be one rich, happy family. I mean, okay. <laughs> You're pretty tough, Monica. You'll get out alive, I'm sure of it. Indeed she will. She's a badass, even if she's a gold digger. Of course I will. As long as I'm here, I'm here to live. You should follow that example. We will, Monica. You're, you're right. We've been trying to. We've been taking after your badass ways. You've even been doing your little teapot pose. Anyway, have you found anything that might help us get out here? Um, no, although the professor did send me an unusual message. You saw it too. Nope, lost my phone ages ago. <laughs> well, it says something like, beware the man with the prosthetic eye. I think he was, um, supposed to, whatever. Um, prosthetic eye? Do you know something? I do! I know a creepy-ass owner of the ship who's hiding in the cargo bay. Uh, we met at the cafe. He's the owner of the ship. His name is Vigo. Yeah, Vigo. Uh, I've met him, but I didn't realize he had a false eye. He does! Oh, it's a fake, alright. I saw him sterilize it by boiling it. But I didn't think he was particularly suspicious. Looks like we need to find Vigo and get the story straight from his mouth. So... We're gonna awesomely team up. I'm gonna go ahead and see what I can find on the ship, but what about you, Monica? For now, I'm just gonna rest until I can get my strength back to my legs. I could give you a piggyback. <laughs> Genius! That way, when the monster finds us, we'll both be cut down. Ah, <laughs> uh, just go on your head at your own pace. There's something weird about having a girl with a death wish look out for everyone but herself. Oh, by the way, you should take this. A ring? Oh, the wedding ring. Right? Yeah, I think it's someone's wedding ring. I found it on some guy's severed hand. If the owner's wife is still alive, you should give it to them. Oh, that's kind of you. Uh, well, these things are important, right? Anyway, you gotta do your homework. I'll be right behind you. Um, I'll bring hell to that Vigo guy, whatever. Alright, later then. Adios, Monica. It's good to have you back, girl. Also, so, that is really weird that she just grips the wedding ring off of a hand that she finds in a soda machine, right? At least she should be safe in there, as long as she doesn't remain locked in there. Holy crap, we would have left her to be- no, no. Bitch ghost girl would have gotten her out of there. And it would have been the prettiest way to survive, but she would have gotten out of there. Better save here, too. Alright, I'm um, going to fast forward again and see you guys in a bit. So yeah, one moment. Wait, what? I need help for my friend? Your friend? Don't tell him about Monica! Um, yes, actually. Our friend, you found her in the storage area. I see. And you say she's in a bad state? I'll go take care of her real quick with my murder hands. In that case, you should take this. Her weakened state may have- wait, what? What kind of drug is this? They're antibiotics. Her wounds might not be deep, but there's... Mmm... She could develop blood poisoning, but you and your friends should ingest them. Okay, thank you. Eric's medication. 
We probably do have to take that because we saw how things went last time. Like when we just went through the vents without doing anything and we got the weird ass headache that killed us or you know zombified us or whatever and seeing as Monica didn't take it either she was also in the zombie state so who knows let's see I'm going to go I'm going to try and you know what just come along for the ride okay we're just going up a few flights of stairs it's okay but like I don't know cuz I'm pr I don't know if we should trust Eric. We've seen him in his creepy, you know, weird cult mask thing, but then the scissor walker told us not to trust him, so that means we kind of should trust him. And I don't know, it's just all very... Let's go over one, I believe. Just take us straight down. No? Do we have to go over another one? We have to go over one more because we need to be locked up firmly, whatever. Oh, right, the weird things. These, um, barriers. Yeah. Okay, let's get down from here. And go medicate Monica, and then we're going to have to probably end the episode there because we're just about out of time. But I think we're back on the right track again. Like, hopefully. We found Monica, that's good. And we found out about. Rome, I guess. We found out, you know, stuff that we already knew that he's part of the cultist group, but, or was part of the cultist group, like, he's their weird prince or something, their sacrificial lamb or whatever you want to call it. Where the hell am I? Where was Monica again? I don't remember. <laughs> I think it was over here, right? Yeah, there we go. Pretty sure this was what it was. Yo, Monica, we got some weird, creepy drugs to shove down your throat. Don't question it. Yes, I can use this here. Don't you tell me why I can and can't use, you fucking glitch. Alrighty then. There we go. See? Fucking glitch. And I thought you'd come back empty-handed. What's this? Antibiotics, apparently. Someone gave them to me. You've got wounds all over. They're small, but um, they could become serious. What? No water? Uh, you don't want water, trust me. Don't be picky. Just swallow them. I'll take them too. Uh, my mouth is too dry right now. Monica, please. You took the antibiotics you received from Eric. Oh, you both took them. Okay. Are you feeling better now? Are you good? Uh. Monica? Don't die on me. Was it a bad choice to do this? Are you okay? I'm not so pathetic that you need to worry about me. You just take care of yourself. You're so cool. Yeah, yeah, you're just in pain, I know. Hopefully, hopefully everything turns out all right with this. I'm gonna go save. Fingers crossed this all goes, you know, super well. I just, I hope. I really do. I guess, oh, oh was that the one that we wrecked? <laughs> Alright, let's save up here, and golly, we have so much stuff in our inventory right now. Yeah, yeah, just charge up there, but... Alright, so... Now we know that without the medicine, we would have perished in a horrible form, or we wouldn't have exactly perished, we would just been the plaything of the bitch ghost girl forever. And that would have sucked so much, but now we have, um... We have a bunch of stuff, we got... See, we got this remote control for the cranes. We got our billiard balls, which I have no idea what these are for. We got B and C. I suppose we still need to find an A. Um, that was our staircase. Uh, I don't know what the fuck this VIP card does, but we got it. And we got a wedding ring. And I'm wondering, was this, um, John's wedding ring? Because, like, I don't know anyone else that we've come across who's married, so... I'm assuming this is John's wedding ring, so are we going to have to give that back to Angie? But then, how are we supposed to give it back to Angie if her and the rest of the people in the hold are dead, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe it was just Maria. I don't... I guess, like, I'm trying to figure out how all the people in the hold died. Like, because... They seem to be pretty safe. I mean, they I guess it must have been like the few bottles of water or whatever that they had. But I don't see why they the scissor walker would, you know, get into the room without them. Or unless it was Vigo. I don't know. I don't know what Vigo's whole motivation is. He's 
like this weird watcher in the background kind of character. I don't understand what his master plan is. I don't understand why Eric is trying to help us through this. Maybe, maybe we're wrong about the cult. Maybe the cult isn't, you know, actually the ones who summoned the scissor walker. Maybe they are trying to, you know, prevent it. Maybe that's what the ritual with Drome was for. Maybe they weren't actually, maybe this like weird monster haunts the cruise liner and they're trying to use Jerome in order to like as some grand sacrifice in order to like prevent the scissor walker or something. I don't know. Maybe we're wrong about them. Maybe they are actually the good guys here. They just have really fucked up methods. Who knows? I guess we'll find out later. But for now, you know, like and subscribe if you want to. And yeah, thank you for watching. <laughs>